Alright, so today's video is a tutorial on how to get Cheat Engine for Dark Souls 3. It says 2024 here, but it works. I'm in 2025 right now and it still works. I recommend liking this video because it helped me out a lot. So I'm going to link this video in the description because this is where I got this idea from. Just to um, get more videos out there because this is I've spent a long time looking for this video. If you need help with the cheat engine, then it has a lot of like getting started stuff and then like all the items and stuff with more explanation than I do. So first we're going to click this link. Here I'll do this. Click latest CE table. I'm just going to bring you to the site here. I don't know if it right now it says release v3.4.0 is its latest here so it should say latest though because this is a link to the latest release so you're going to be on this site right here and you're going to scroll down to assets there's going to be three here if there's not three don't freak out um, you don't want to click either of these this one or this one because it's just a little bit more complicated you want to click this so you want to download it and then it's going to pop up here here i'll download it for you guys okay so now that we have downloaded it you want to go ahead and click this thing here it's going to bring you here i would recommend you can close out of this if you want so this is the only thing they should have open right now i would recommend clicking it once and then dragging it and dropping it into your desktop so you can easily get to it and you can you can rename it to like cheat engine for ds3 and you can go ahead and double click here as you can see i already have dark souls 3 open so if you don't have it open it doesn't really work but once you have dark souls 3 open you want to click this button up here it has a tv and a magnifying glass this is the process list this is everything you have open currently but you want to go to dark souls 3 and you would click open and then this keep the current address list slash code list you're going to always hit yes now you're going to click this and it's going to take a couple seconds so you click the box and then the three things i'm going to be tutorialing today is the statistics hero and scripts all these other ones like camera you can teleport you can debug stuff it's it, everything's really cool here but statistics basically you do your um, character name level reinforcement level on your on your current weapon um, a lot of this like overlaps with other stuff and these are questions marks because I don't have an actual game open right now then we go to hero this basically your stats and attributes your stats are for your health um, like your your red health bar your blue health bar and your green health bar and then the attributes changes your actual player stats so let's say you wanted a leo's great hammer for the start you go over here you change this to level 60 you hit okay and now your character is level 60 and then you can do resistances so if you're resistant to poison or stuff like that you can play around with everything um and then build creation this is add soul um i already tried this but if you try to add a soul when you're not in an actual game yet it crashes the game immediately so you do not want to add this but let's say you wanted five souls you click ok and then you go over here to click add souls so I'm not gonna click on it but once you click on it it should pop up with an X for like maybe half a second and then you can go back in your game and you have five more souls than you used to have now is the item gib so you don't want to go over here and type ember because that's just not going to work you're going to go over here you're going to click this little drop down arrow right here and there's a lot of stuff here obviously because there's a lot of stuff in the game so let's say you wanted the leto's great hammer see i typed leto it's right at the top there and then i click ok and then i could do infusion levels let's say i wanted a chaos gem on there i don't think you can't in reinforce a leto's great hammer you could do the upgrade level you can't spawn multiple unless you get you can go like this you can click one and then you can click spawn item a bunch of times and then you get a lot and then durability you can either go normal or broken with this one so that's that and then you can play around with that i'm not going to spoil it all for you guys but that's basically the tutorial on the dark souls 3 cheat engine i hope you all enjoyed this video and if it really helped you out please like and subscribe shoot me a comment if you have any questions i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can 
and yeah so everyone have a great day